Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This week has been a really emotional week for us as Jessie has finished primary school. She's missed so many milestones such as her residential trip and t-shirt signing and even the transitions into secondary school to get to know her new class and her new teacher. On Friday I did have to work so I did miss the clapping out. So we decided that this weekend we wanted to treat the kids and take them out for the day, something we haven't really done since before the pandemic started. So we decided to go somewhere we hadn't been before, which is Mother Shipton's Cave. It was about 45 minutes away from where we live now. We did have to pre-book, it was £30 plus a pound for the guidebook, but it was really worth it. There was a park to play in, a pixie village, and of course the wishing well and the cave, which Henry was absolutely terrified of the cave. It was wonderful to finally do something normal together as a family and it also got away from the chaos of the house which is still full of packing boxes as we are yet to agree upon a completion date for the move. So I hope you enjoy this video and here is our day out to Mother Shipton's cave. We passed the coin trees, playground and pixie village as they were quite busy deciding to explore these on the way back.
There were padlocks on the railings with names of couples on them. We found out later you could buy these for £4 from the gift shop. Henry really didn't like the cave, even Jess didn't want to stay for too long, she said it was far too creepy. The wishing well was something we all tried, following the rules carefully. I'll let you know if what I wished for comes true.
Next, we headed to the museum and gift shop. It was tiny. However, it did have some interesting items that had been left by celebrities, such as Agatha Christie's handbag and some items that belonged to Queen Mary. Jessie hated being in the shop. She really doesn't like mannequins, especially the severed heads on poles. At the park they had some dinosaurs, Henry was desperate to join them and he had a tantrum when we said no and then he went off in a huff, however he was soon distracted. Parks in Leeds are still predominantly closed, so both kids made the most of playing in the playground, even though it was raining a little.
Jess and Henry both had a turn hammering a coin into the coin trees too. They both had little help from Aaron. By the time we got back to the car, both the kids were exhausted and they both fell asleep in the car on the way home. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. I want to thank you so much for supporting my channel, especially as my uploads have been a little sporadic of late. However, as of next week we will be going back to shift work, which means that I will be getting a better work-life balance. And hopefully I won't be doing any more 50 hour weeks at work as well. As soon as we get our official moving day, I will obviously announce that. But if you uh, want to get ahead of what's going on uh, in our lives right now, head over to our blog as I do tend to announce things on there and also our Instagram. All the links are down below. I will pop those up on screen for you now as well. So I will leave you with a few photographs that we took on the day. And again, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.